Good morning, everybody. So I came out here this morning to walk my puppy. And then I turned and looked around. And uh, I seen it on the on my truck. The bottom of my tire is flat. But it's only the bottom. So if I turn it, maybe, maybe it won't be flat then. <laughs> so we went and got gas yesterday. And when I left the gas station, I said, boy, the truck feels funny. Something wrong with one of the tires. But when we came home yesterday, I never looked at it. So, when I was walking the puppy here, I seen this, so I came over, and right where I park it, this is where the nail is. See that nice big nail in there? But, I don't remember where I put my tire plugs, so I gotta look for them. And also, we have a meeting to be at this morning, so I don't really have a lot of time. So I'm gonna blow the tire up, and hope that it still holds enough air, so <laughs> we can go, and get back, and then fix it later. Wow. So I'm glad that I sent my air compressor and, and my air hoses and my tire chuck and all that stuff. So that way I have it here instead of having to change a tire. Like I say, hopefully it'll hold air. He's a real speaker. At least that place we're gonna go is not that far. And we do have a spare tire if need be. But I think it will take time. And I've already changed one spare tire here in the Philippines, so I know how to do it. <laughs> this is how you do it, put out air or not, tire. <laughs> so you cannot feel the air then? Can you feel air? Put some water on it. Oh, of course, I don't have a key. So when you put air in your truck tire, the, the truck thinks it's being stolen for some reason. Not sure why. <laughs> that was a uh, anti-tip? Yeah, that was the alarm system. Huh? I thought it was a stone, a truck there. Your trucks look like a uh, 10 years old. They're very dirty. We just came from the mountains up a day or two or three ago, so yeah. muddy up there. <clears throat> and as soon as I wash this truck, the next day it rains and then it looks like crap again. Before I go on a road, it's not paved. It's like the water here kind of clean truck nicely. Yeah, because it has a chemical in it. The water here seems very hard. You get a lot of water stains. Is it leaking? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure mm -hmm. is. Right, it's bubbling. Yeah. That should be good enough to get us where we need to go and back, hopefully. See that? My husband is a race speaker. That's other people. Yeah, if I could find my fire plugs before we leave, I'll plug it. But I'm not sure if I have the time. So we'll plug this later on today or, or in a couple minutes. So we'll see you then. So we came back from our thing we had to do this morning and took care of our dogs and some other stuff and come out. And here's the tire again, almost flat. So. <laughs> I'm going to put some air in it before I pull the thing out. It's just my preference. I don't care to plug a tire when they're flat. I like to plug them when they're mostly inflated. Everybody has a different preference. So we'll put a little bit of wind in the tire and pull that thing out there, whatever it is. I don't know if it's a nail or what that thing is. Can't really tell by the head. And I forgot this, that you got to, that it'll set off the alarm when you're putting some wind in the tire. If anybody knows why that is, let me know. Because I don't understand. I guess you think the tire's being stolen? <laughs> Changes the level of the truck? I don't know. Yeah, 
and I soon have to uh, plug in my air compressor to build up the pressure. Not much pressure anymore. That was fast. That small tank. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the one in the U.S. is big. Yeah. My one was big, one was small. We only brought the small one. <clears throat> Forget about that. So there's my tire plugs that I sent from the U.S. And some of my tools that I did send. I wasn't planning to, and I did. So. And we're just the exact same spot it was this morning. Okay. So the nail was bent here, trying to pull it out. Nice big long nail. We'll sit her down there for somebody else. <laughs> I think the nail might have went in on an angle. Bent. Bent. Nail was bent. So it's a little hard to get in the room in there to pass the steel cords. also is just my preference I like to put the, the little rubber spin on there makes it slide in a little easier for me it's just my preference I know a lot of people don't do it I don't everybody's a little different than what they like rubber and cement this is just the way I was taught hmm? and there you go that's it that's the plug and I'll cut that little bit extra off, which will actually would wear off on its own if, it, if you drive it, but I would cut it off. So there's the, there's a nice little bent nail <laughs> that was stuck in there for me. And that's one thing here in the Philippines, there's no parking. You don't have parking lots like in the U.S. or other countries. You got to always be pulling off to the side of the road to stop at a store. Or, like yesterday, pull off to the side of the road for my wife to try and get some beer, but they were sold out. So, you know, you never know. And we go to the, the wet market, there's nowhere to park. And uh, there's always, like, construction debris when we go there, or broken glass. So it's hard to say where we picked it up at, but we got somewhere yesterday. Now today it's fixed, I gotta put a little bit more in there, some more air, see what, make sure nothing else is leaking. And we should be good to go. And now I have to try and find some more tire plugs here in the Philippines. Hopefully they have some here. So hmm, we can luck. buy them since I only have three left. So good luck. So I can only get three more flat tires and that's it. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And have a wonderful day.